Hey Riverhawk fans, welcome back to another edition of the Riverhawk Report. I'm your host, Ben Non. I hope everyone had a safe and sound week and kind of evaded that bomb cyclone that took over New England. That didn't stop the UMass Lowell men's basketball team from being in action and opening up conference play versus the defending America East champion Vermont Catamounts, as well as the hockey team getting a four-point weekend. All this and more coming up with No Nonsense. Track and field was back in action after a little bit of a holiday layoff. Both the indoor men's and women's teams were at the Dartmouth Relays. And starting off with the women, senior Kirsten Darzny went 2-for-2 two two to lead the women's track and field team to a 4th place finish at the 48th Dartmouth Relays. While the men's team earned a 3rd place finish with help from James O'Brien, who turned in a personal best in the 60-meter dash. Both squads now prepare for a heavy weekend where they take part in the Harvard Multi-Event on Friday, and then both the Jumbo Invitational at Tufts and the Beantown Challenge at Harvard on Saturday. After putting up a total of 14 goals this past weekend, the Riverhawks were able to collect four big points in Hawk East with wins over Vermont 6-0 and UMass 8-3. On Friday, Christopher Hernberg did his part in net, recording 21 saves for his third career shutout. And on Saturday, the offense would not step off the gas pedal as Ryan Lowen scored a career-high four points they head out west to take on Arizona State on Friday and Saturday night. After an exciting slate of non-conference games, the men's basketball team opened up conference play against defending champion Vermont. Despite pulling within one point, with just over nine minutes remaining, the Catamounts came away with an 88-77 decision. Jaw Thomas in the loss did log a new career high with 30 points and 11 field goals. Now they head off to New York to challenge Hartford on Wednesday and return home Saturday for a 1 p.m. tip-off against UMBC from the Sangha Center. The women's team also opened up conference play against the Vermont Catamounts, except this one was up in Burlington, and they hung tough but could not complete the comeback, falling 63-55. to Brianna Rudolph led the way with 13 points, while Kayla Gibbs picked up her eighth double-double with 11 points and 10 rebounds. They welcome Hartford to the Sangha Center on Wednesday at 7 p.m., and then go back on the road for two games against UMBC on Saturday and New Hampshire on Monday. All this conference play and hockey action means there's only one thing to get to, your Circle Health Plays of the Week. Four plays today, and we start on the hard court at number four. Jahad Thomas with the rejection here, and then take a look at this one. Decides to take it to himself, goes coast to coast, and look at this pretty dime to Josh Gantz, who finishes for two. Number three, we turn to the pond, and uh, Chris Forney retrieving what he gave back, and look at this one-timer that knocks off the water bottle in the 6-0 victory. Number two, back to the pond the following night, UMass Lowell, nice dish here, on over to John Edward, in the nice deep for the finish. We'll take another look at this one in slow-mo, now talk about the pinching, but finish this one, John Edward, why don't you? Forehand to backhand, and their 8-3 victory. But another play coming at number one in their victory over UMass. Charlie Levesque, who a few games ago got his first goal of his career. Take a look at this one. Bobby Orr-esque. Finds a way to pick up the puck and finds the back of the net one more time in slow-mo. The nice shot and the rebound. Great hand-eye coordination. Again, in their 8-3 victory, those are your Circle Health Plays of the Week. Well, I know that was quite the package of hockey plays, but, I mean, that Charlie Levesque goal, you may never see something like that again. Well, on behalf of the Riverhawk Network, I'm Ben Non. Make sure you pack the house at the Sangha Center Wednesday night for the women's basketball game as they take on Hartford. Have a good one, everyone. <laughs>